standing tall. Demi, stretch. Demi, stretch. I'm originally from Prince George. Um, I started dancing um, when I was six. My parents put me in after I was very uncoordinated dancing at a wedding. And um, it just kept going ever since then. I just grew up dancing and then um, I was offered the job here and so I've been, I don't know anything else, I just dance <laughs> and teach dance. The previous owner, Noelle Jellison, was retiring and she had heard that I was, you know, just trying to pursue my teaching a little bit more and then so she uh, offered me the job and I came up 15 years ago now. Would you consider yourself then more of a teacher than a performer? Oh, I'm definitely more of a teacher now. Yeah. <laughs> I don't dance very much anymore. Oh. So my adult tapper, they usually talk me into dancing once a year on stage, but that's about it. And what so. was that transition like, actually doing the dance and performing to transitioning into just kind of stepping away and being the teacher? Well, it was actually hard for me for the first couple of years. I performed like my whole high school career a lot, so I really enjoyed it and always wanted to do it. But teaching, I was always just better at teaching. So, but when I started teaching, I wanted to do everything, and I actually went to a course where they said you have to stop dancing for the kids and let them do it themselves. So, yeah, so it was it was pretty hard. But I mean, I mean, I love it now. It's it's great. I enjoy them, enjoy the kids and teaching a lot. So. And what kind of um, dance lessons does the Studio to Stage offer? Um, well, we, we offer the tap, jazz, ballet, and acrobatics. Um, we've also incorporated um, musical theater, lyrical and contempt classes, as well as um, this year we're starting Highland as well. Um, as, and then we also have adult classes in um, tap, ballet, um, and Zumba and Glamoretti. What could you say about the Fort St. John dance scene? What's it like? It's grown quite a lot since I've, I've been here. I know when I moved here, I was the only, stu only tap jazz ballet studio. Um, and then another one has opened up, which is good for the community. And now with all of the popularity on all the, the reality shows and with the dance, and even the adults are getting in on it now too. What's your favorite part about teaching? Um, seeing the progression in the kids, I think, because I see the kids a lot over several years, you know, and seeing the kids grow up and seeing what they can do with their dance and what they can accomplish in their goals is, it's really nice to see that and they, you know, they're like, yeah, I got that and, you know, after, especially after so many years of training, it's nice to see them hit those accomplishments. What was it about dance that kept you going for all these years? It's just something I've always done and something I, I kind of always needed to do because if not, I, I, I need to be that active. I need to have that music around me. I need to have that outlet. And so it's, you know, even in teaching, you're still around it. And so it's kind of something that I just grew up doing. What is the one sort of genre that, that you really gravitate towards? I do a lot of ballet. Uh, I think it's because um, I enjoy doing the ballet because you get to just see the progression a little bit more. You can just detail it and get all of those fine details fixed. I just find you see the kids accomplish so much more in those, those classes. I've been dancing for about seven years now and I love Sean as a teacher. She inspires me to do so much better and I just love her as a teacher. She's awesome. I do tap jazz, ballet, point, large group, acro, tricks, and contemporary and variety, and just so many different kinds of dance. So I've been dancing for 11 years. I started when I was three years old, and I've had Shauna for a teacher since I was four years old. And she's inspired me so much, and uh, she's a really great teacher and a person, and I've gotten a long way with her. I do many types of dance, mostly ballet, tap, and jazz. I love dancing a lot. I spend almost seven days a week, every week here. I come here after school every day and dance a couple hours. It makes me feel happy. I like to express myself in ways other than writing it on a paper. And I feel like I can open up with dancing. I've met a lot of people through dance, and I have many friends because of it. It's just opened me up to a new world. 
Is it ever too late to start dancing? Definitely not. Um, we have classes for all levels and all ages. 